So I was telling you that when you will see this result, the fit of the measurement model, right? So we'll go to the measurement model and we run this. Okay. Okay. So if I just run this measurement model and I see this, the fit is 251, 159. And if you go to the structural model, you will get the same model fit for structural structural model also, right? So if you are doing it properly, bottom up, we have first done the measurement models of individual constructs, then we check the measurement model overall. And now we come to the structural model, your model fits will remain the same Chi-square by DF is very good. GFI is very good. CFI is very good. RMSEA is also very good. So you can say with confidence that this structural model fits well with the data. Okay. And we can go and check the estimates now. Now, if you look at the estimates, we have now got the estimates of our structural path. So leadership to procedural justice, the unstandardized regression coefficient is 0.547, right? So we can write it down in our diagram that we had drawn 0.547 and it is significant at three stars, which means it is significant at P less than 0.001. Then we go to leadership to creativity, the direct path that is 0.179 and it is significant at P less than 0.001. And then procedural justice to creativity, it is 0.1 and it is significant at P less than 0.05. Right, it is significant at P less than 0 0.05. The standardized coefficients are 0.536. Then for leadership to creative behavior, it is 0.264. And for procedural justice to creative behavior, it is 0.115. What are the R squares? If you scroll down, you will get variances and then squared multiple correlations. So the R square for procedural justice is point, point 0.287, which means 28% variance in PJ can be attributed to leadership here. And for R square for creative behavior, it is 0.135. That means 13.5% variance in creative behavior can be accounted for by leadership and procedural justice together. Right, And then you have the total effects, the standardized total effects, the direct effects, and the indirect effects. I will tell you what it means in a, in a while. Okay. But this is the output of the regression uh, structural model that we want to test. Right. So this is, if you were to write it in your papers, this is the model. This is the values. These are the values that we have got. The unstandardized coefficient and the standardized coefficient is written in parenthesis and this is for this second path and then this is for the third path that we have here. The R square for PJ is 0.287 and R square for CB it is 0.135. So this is what structural equation model does. It allows you to do the same kind of regression testing that you were doing earlier after accounting into, uh, after factoring in 
the measurement errors. And the beauty of this technique is that it allows you to do, do measurement model plus the structural model in one go. We have done the measurement model for the three constructs and we have also done the structural model for the for testing the path. So it is it allows us to do all of this testing in one go and it reports not just the paths, it also reports the fit indices which we can report in our research papers. Right? Saying that our model represents what is happening in reality. Okay. okay.